What's up YouTube? It's Chicken Master and I'm back with a new video. Um, I decided to go do a quick tutorial, hopefully quick, um, on how I tape my goalie stick for hockey. Um, so we'll be both doing both the blade as well as the handle um, just to kind of show off how I do it and if so if someone else who's new to the game wants to know, they'll know how and I'll give you kind of some ideas on other ways to do it um, or for other preferences or styles. So I think without further ado, let's get this started. So for this, um, you're gonna need roll of tape. Doesn't really matter what tape you use. Doesn't really matter what color you use. Um, really, you can use anything you want. Personally, I have a big white, big one inch. Um, that's really just how I do. I like to have a pair of scissors. I like to have a pair of scissors handy. Um, I just like clean edges on my tape. Um, doesn't That way they don't rip up as easily on the edges. So pair of scissors, then of course, you're gonna want your stick. So yeah, let's get going. I'm also very big on doing things the same way every single time. When you're first trying things out, like trying this out or trying out a different style, you can do it however you want. That's totally up to you. We all have our own way of doing things. I always stop, start in the same way with my, um, how much ta I tape down for my hand, and then I do my butt end, and then I do my blade. So first off, we are going to, if I can find the edge of the tape, I'm gonna do a nice, well, the tape is willing. I start up on the top. I cover that gap between this gap here, between the shaft and the kind of that little cap they have. I come all the way across it. And I close it off completely. And then from there, I just start going down. So yeah, I'll start kind of just at an angle, bring it down from there. Let's kind of keep that pattern going. As we come back around, you'll see I'm just kind of covering that, up, re, re kind of going over it. And I do that pattern over and over and over. How far apart you want it to be or how close you want it to be totally depends on you. Um, but for me, I like to make it Kind of as far as possible helps me save some tape uh yeah that's really kind of what that is i come down i think about where my butt end will be and then from there so my butt end's like probably gonna be about up probably this top section here i think about just enough for my whole hand to grasp um i don't really like too much tape on my stick Probably good right there. For me, it's nice because I get kind of as right on my stick. I found like little points that help me out. Um, for your first time, just grab it a couple times, see how it feels, see where you if it's where you want it to be. Because it only works for you if it's if you try and mess around with it. So then I'll take my scissors. Now that I've leveled it off, and I'll show you here in a sec what that looks like. Just like this, I just like, you know, I have the pattern going down and then I just kind of level it off. So I have a nice solid kind of bar right there. Then I take my tape again, and this is where it gets kind of intense. I start back up at top even with where I had started. And to make a butt end, I just start going around in circles. You can do this as much or as little as you would like. Um, there really is no right or wrong answer to this. But I will say, if you're doing this for a goalie, especially if you're a new goalie, you're gonna want a bigger butt end. A couple of times around is not probably gonna work well. And the reason for this is with our blocker, the way that the st if we lose our stick in the game, a normal player glove is pretty open enough that they can pick it up off the ice with a pretty small nub for a butt end, you know? That's how I did it as a player. That's how like lacrosse is very similar, right? Like we don't, our butt ends don't get very big on our sticks. Um, but 
as a goalie in hockey, you will find that if your stick falls on the ice, your blocker glove is not very well built to pick it back up. They've, they're a lot better, right? I've used an older style and it's kind of weird, um, right? Especially when they got really thick, but like they're, they're kind of figuring out the good ways to make it, make your glove still work. The problem with that though, is it's, it's still gonna be a pain in the butt. So I like to make mine as big as possible. I'm not gonna make you watch all of this, but you should definitely keep in mind that something like, let's see if I can get around, something like this, probably not enough. You're gonna wanna go way bigger. So let me finish this up and I'll show you how big I like mine. All right, I think that's good enough. That's a pretty good size. Same thing with the grip part. I'm gonna take my scissors. Just gonna trim up the end there. Now, your button might look better than mine. I don't know why I chose to put the worst button I've ever taped up on the internet. But it's gonna look something a lot more like this. I mean, that's how wide this stick is, right? Is the little black there in the middle. And this is all the tape I chose to do. You, it's gonna look goofy, it's gonna be weird, but this is huge when your stick ends up on the ice, which will happen a lot more than you think it will. It happens. Drop it, player catches it, hits the puck, weird plays happen, right? You might even bump it, catches in the net, it happens. Down, right? When it comes to a big butt, it will add some weight, especially with tape. Um, I will say alternatives to this are there's the butt ends, um, it's like an actual brand and they're really good about this. Um, they stay on a lot longer. They last longer, kind of a, I don't know if they're silicone-y, rubbery. I don't know exactly what they're, but they're not tape. They're more of like a lizard skin, like a back grip kind of a thing. Whatever you want, you know, you can do. Um, but yeah, this is how I do my butt end. Now we're gonna flip it over. I always put my foot on it because I don't want to get cat hair. But we're gonna now do the blade. Now the way I do my blade is pretty simple. Um, since I have a pretty straight um, kind of toe, I like to do one where I do cover almost up to the toe and then back to my heel. Not really anything more. I just like having a nice little cover there. It's kind of cool. I get to see the puck marks, see where I've made my saves, um, as well as, you know, it just adds a little, 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 little help to your passes and stuff. Um, so yeah, let's get that started. I always give myself, that's probably not even that much. I give myself quite a bit. I like the front of mine to be pretty straight. So I'll line up, fit something like this, if it'll work out. I can't really get a good grip. Something like that, get it nice and straight, and then I bring that back piece around. From there, I'm going to turn it around. And that's when I start bringing it across. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I bring it just over. I just barely overlap that previous run. Again, saves me a lot of tape, as well as also, it's kind of cool. I'll just keep repeating that again, just following ever so slightly across, flipping, bringing up ever so much. I don't know I'm snake in front of it. Yeah, that's how I do my blade. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward. 
a lot of different ways you can do your blade. Um, you can cover your toe, uh, can cover your heel, can put just a little bit on the front like this even. I've seen this before. It really just depends on you and your preference. And a lot of that's gonna come from experimenting. You're just gonna have to use it and then go, oh, you know, use it for a game or two and then switch it up, whether you like it or not. And then just do something else. And that's, that's just how it is, that's how all of this is. All of this is just experimenting. So all right, I'm gonna finish this up here and then I will show you the finished product, so. So now we're at the end, kind of see, I had to curve it a little bit to kind of go with the curve of the blade. Uh, not really, not the curve this way, but just this angle here and the heel. Bring it on the back end. I always start and finish things on the back. Um, it just looks cleaner that way. And all I do, a little snip, put my teeth down, just finish it. Then take my tape, I'm just gonna go with Just whatever, away from whichever direction I ended, just to kind of flatten and level it all out. Just make sure all the edges are pressing together and aren't going to flare out as much and then keeps it from tearing. So that is that. That is, oh, I've got some cat hair in it still. Yeah, do this where you don't have like pets or your own hair because it gets everywhere, but oh well, no big deal. Again, that's how I take my goalie stick. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a little bit and at least you learned a way that you might want to do it. And I hope you learned that you can always try your own. So thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Take care.